The Presbyterian Church in the United States of America was five years old when Bull Creek Church was founded in 1794. For the first eight years, the services at Bull Creek Church were held outdoors. The minister stood in a small, tent-like pulpit while listeners sat before him on logs or on the ground. All came by foot or horseback in those early times. Indians were numerous at this time and the worshippers went about armed at all times. The Bully tribe, from whom we get our name, frequented the outdoor services. Can you imagine Indians coming upon the church service held in the open? They were probably intrigued by the religion and music they were hearing, so different from their own. In the winter months, the congregation would meet in the cabin of a church member. There have been five churches built upon the land. In 1801, the first church was built of a simple backwoods rough-hewn log. But within the next ten years, the community became so populated it could not hold all the worshippers. Could you imagine so many people in a small four-square room and music coming from such a small space? Thank you. 
Since the first church was so small, the second was built in 1820 of rough hewn logs with an offset in the front. It was said to be hard to heat in the winter, so about 1833 a smaller church was built. And again, I'm sure you could hear the sound of worship all over the land. The fourth church was a red brick building. It was built and dedicated in 1853, which is still standing today. Let's not forget the stained glass windows, something the members were very proud of. And the walls were papered, the floor carpeted, kerosene lamps swung from the ceiling, and long rows of straight back pews completed the furnishings. Not until the 1920s were the electric lights installed. Finally, in 1940, the road in front of the church was paved. Wow, everyone was feeling fine with these new upgrades.
The church remained much the same, but the congregation grew. So in 1953, they broke ground to a new stone building across the road that still serves us today. The growth of the church has continued, and so has the life of our church in serving our Lord, Jesus Christ. The church has been blessed, and the Lord is shining down on us here at Bull Creek. Amen.